In this video, we are going to create the interior lighting for this living room using Arnold rendering engine in Maya. So by default, you when you create, it will look something like this, right? So I have simple sofas and a wall, two walls actually. Now keep in mind, we need to know exactly what is going to be coming in our frame, okay? So for that, we use this resolution gate, and we can turn on this just to hide whatever is not going to be in the frame. Okay, and you need to know <coughs> you should not show any of these extra shapes, okay? The gaps or the holes that is there, okay? So if you think that your, your model is not big enough, what you can do is you can go to select vertices, select these vertices and make this bigger. Okay, so I'll select all this, make this a bit big. Okay, and select all this and make this big. Okay, so that what will happen is no matter how, how much space we take, how much rotation we do, we will not see the outside area. Okay, is that clear? Okay, fine. So next thing is, you can also add a wall here if you don't want to stretch it all the way, okay? And keep just one wall to be empty, and the other side also you can have a wall. So you can have three different walls and have just one space that is empty. Otherwise, you can just stretch this to a bigger size so that no matter how you move, you will not see the outside areas, okay? Fine. So now let's just do a simple render and see what we get. I have Arnold here. If I render that out, nothing will show because there is no lights. Okay, so what we need is we need to create lights, okay? So we're gonna create what is called as Arnold's uh, area light, okay? So you will find it by going to Arnold, lights, and you will find the first one which is called as area light, okay? So click on area light, this creates a light that is in square shape, okay? You can make it bigger because we have a bigger scene. And if you look closer, you'll see the rectangle shape has a cross, correct? And it has one line that is perpendicular to the plane, which means the light is created from this surface and the light is traveling in this direction, okay? So any object that is behind it, it will not show. It will show only the light that is in front of it. Okay, so let me make it a bit bigger and we might have to make it a bit brighter as well to see what's happening. Okay, so I'll do a render this time. Let's go ahead and hit play. Okay, we still don't see anything because the, bright, the brightness of the light is too low. I'll close this for now and we're gonna just adjust the brightness of it, okay? So I'll select the light here, go to Attribute Editor, you can also press Command A or Control A, okay? And there you will find the um, lights, intensity and exposure. So these two things will decide how bright the light is going to be. So if I click on the intensity and drag, okay, it's just going to give you a little visual feedback of what's happening here, okay? So I'll keep it something like that and we can hit render one more time. And keeping that playing, why can't I push this smaller? Oh, it was always available. <laughs> okay, fine, so I'm keeping the intensity high but still I don't see much. Let me increase the exposure and now you're starting to see some light, okay? And you will see that the light is actually, let me make it bigger, smaller, yes. You can see that the light is casting only on one direction. There's no light on the other direction. That is because we have the light facing that way, not this way. Okay, so let me keep this active and I'll show you how this light gets uh, affected okay so let's keep it active like this
okay and I'm gonna select this light here and rotate upwards you see what's happening in the scene the top area is becoming bright and the bottom area is becoming dark and if I do the same thing in the opposite direction you'll see that the bottom is becoming bright and the top is becoming dark okay now we're gonna create a lighting where there's not going to be one light source but many light source as we see as we see in the roof okay so there's as you can see like one two three and then total of nine sets of lights okay so you can create nine sets of lights you can create six sets of lights up to you fine so if I want to create multiple lights like this then I need to make it a bit more smaller and the easier way to see this is from the um, top view so now from the top view let me make it bigger okay make it a bit smaller so that size approximately and I'm just gonna place it somewhere here and we can test out how this single light looks like and you can see it's slightly tilted we have to bring it back to minus 90 nine zero so we make sure that it is perfectly flat and I'm going to push it up roughly to this height and we can check how this lighting is and accordingly we can adjust the needs so let's say I want to keep it like this this is my final frame hit render play here and you can see there's good enough light I think if you think it's too dark we can add more light by going to attribute editor and changing the intensity and exposure okay so generally better to bring as much light as you can with the intensity because exposure tend to add a little bit more uh, unreal look okay it might add a little bit noise as well so you can actually give a higher intensity something like 50 yeah and keep the exposure something like maybe three or four I think maybe three is enough okay so this is just one light we're gonna add more lights like this okay to add more lights all we can do is simply duplicate the light and just place it in other locations so I'll go to top view again to see it more clearly I'll press command D or control D and make a duplicate so there's a second one and you can see the visual preview here right and I can make select both of them by pressing shift and command D one more time so this time more duplicate and command D one more time so that's adding up total of six lights correct and you can see that the front area is still dark so what we can do is we can add three more lights to make a total of nine lights so I'll press shift and select these guys as well command D to make a duplicate and move this over to this side and you can see that this area earlier had shadows now we have removed those shadows fine any questions now if you have TV or other light sources you will have to create extra lights to make them feel like there's extra light coming from those areas maybe if you have TVs you can actually have different colors of lights to show that there's different uh, colors colors that is coming out from the TV okay so that's pretty much it depending on what kind of room you have you will have to add um, multiple lights as much as you you want now keep in mind the rendering is not finished it's still doing the render see only nine percent is finished that's why you see a lot of noises so once it goes hundred percent you will have no noises here it will be clean Thank you.